morning. How are you all? I am okay. Um, it's morning. It's a Monday. And so Anthony just left for work. He's actually going into the office today. Um, he had a tour or something he had to go to. And so I've got both the boys. Um, we're about to go to take grade to preschool. And um, I'm going to try to start being more intentional about taking Porter to things when I had Grayson and it was just me and him. Uh, even when I was pregnant with Porter, like I just took Grayson to so many things. Like we went to the library like two or three times a week for story time. And we did like lots of meetups with my mom group. And I just feel like it helped him. Like it helped socialize him and just make him outgoing. I mean, that could be part of his personality too. But I'm just wanting to do those things with Porter because when Porter was born... We were in the pandemic, Hi, and so everything was closed. We couldn't do, like, the library was closed. People weren't milk. really doing meetups, like, different things like that. What do you want? I want some milk. You'd like some milk? How do you ask nicely? My, my milk. <laughs> um, yeah. Porter wants some milk, apparently. But anyway, like I was saying, everything was just, like, closed down. I, I you know, it's 2022, well, almost 2023 so now. Well, it's on the table. It's on the table. And so... Um, things have opened up, they've been open up for a while, and so now that we have our mornings, Monday through Thursday, with just Porter, I'm just going to try to take him to more things. So, today we're going to go to Storytime at the library, and that'll be fun, and then I have a couple other, like, mom's group activities that we're going to do throughout the week. So, I think it'll be good for him, I think it'll be better than just, like, me and him coming back here and, like, going on a walk or something, which he loves, but I just want to get him to socialize more. Also, Grayson had homework this past weekend. Well, so, first of all, I'll show you what's at the top of his backpack. Today is B day, today and tomorrow. Every week, they're doing a new letter, so last week was A, this week is B and so last week we brought in two a items we brought in like he had like a little lego astronaut and then we brought in a alligator puppet <laughs> today is b day so um today and tomorrow so today we are bringing in i will show you guys we are bringing in a a basketball because basketball starts with b <laughs> I get this, I get this. Also in Grayson's backpack. This is so gross. <laughs> His um, teacher wanted us to find dead bugs to bring in for a science experiment. So we went to the old house this week, like you guys saw, and I found lots of dead bugs. So we got that. Do you got the alligator? That's the alligator puppet. And then Gray had homework, and he had to work on writing his name in pencil. So lots of things going in Gray's backpack today, and he's gonna have a great day at school. But we gotta get going, otherwise we are gonna be so late. So I will try and record something at story time. Jump, Porter, jump! Jump, Porter, jump! Jump, jump! Riding on a cow. And there's Grayson. He says he's bouncing like Tigger. We're at one of our neighborhood parks. They're actually going to be tearing this park down and putting in a brand new park sometime this fall. Every time we come, I'm worried that it's going to be blocked off, but maybe they're waiting till it gets really cold. You want to get off? Oh no, you're still riding. <laughs> I want to get out. You want to get out? Okay. It's dead here. Usually the parks around here are dead. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a lot of people have older kids or something. I mean, it's nice. Our kids, the kids get um, 
the park to themselves. The library went super well. Porter actually did so good at story time at the library. He was dancing to the songs and reading books and we stayed afterwards for like an hour <laughs> just playing and reading books and playing with the toys there so he loved it and gray had an awesome day at preschool he did his b item and we're gonna have to bring another b item tomorrow so we got to figure out what that's gonna be um but so far we've been having a good day are you singing Mommy you want mommy to sing? They have this song that they like me to sing. Oh, Grayson and Porter are playing at the playground. Porter is swinging. Grayson's climbing the net. Oh, Grayson and Porter are playing at the playground. Porter is swinging. Grayson is climbing up the stairs. We had so much fun playing at the park. So like I said, it's been a really good day and I've also been doing some party planning. So I'm not gonna post this till after Anthony's birthday because he doesn't really watch my vlogs, but just in case he does, I have actually been working on planning a surprise birthday party for Anthony. So in about a month, today's like the 19th of September, Anthony's birthday is on October 21st. So I'm starting the planning early just so that people probably haven't planned that far ahead. And also like to make reservations if it's gonna be a big group, like I just want I'm enough gonna time. Play. But I'm gonna he's gonna turn 30 next month. Um, and I feel like that's a big deal, like 30. That just feels so old. <laughs> and I keep asking him what he wants to do for his birthday and he says nothing. Eventually, um, we want to take a trip for our birthdays. I want to do like an all-inclusive and he wants to like go to a country and explore. But we just bought the house and we're just trying to get our finances in order. So it's going to take us a second to actually do that. Plus I'm pregnant, so can't do that right now. Um, and also like the week before we're going to go on a trip, um, Anthony's friend from college is getting married in North Carolina. So we're actually going to go for a couple days and just explore and then go to this wedding. So it should be super fun. So anyway, just didn't work out to like do a trip for his birthday with all those circumstances. So the next best thing I thought is to do a surprise birthday party for Anthony. So I'm really excited. I've never done a surprise birthday party before. I've done plenty of kids parties as you guys have seen, but I've never done like an adult birthday party. So it's not going to be like crazy, but I'm just going to do dinner and then drinks at like we have this place near us i'm sure there's tons of them all over the country but it's uh you can get like alcoholic drinks and then they also have old time arcade games that you can play and it's free and they also have duck bowling that i think is like five dollars like it's very cheap so but of course the drinks is where they make their money so i figured we could go to dinner and then do drinks at this place it's called pins they're all over Ohio. I'm sure they're all over the country. And if not, I'm sure you have something similar. So I think we're going to do that. Um, and so I've been spending all day texting people. Um, I'm inviting all my siblings and their significant others because Anthony's close with them all. And they'd have FOMO if they didn't. I called my parents to make sure that they could watch the boys for us. And they said they could, which is good. I was thinking about doing it on a Saturday, but... With football games and stuff, I think people would just have plans. So I'm just doing it on a Friday and it actually works out because his birthday is on a Friday. So I'm just doing it like on the actual day of his birthday. Anyway, I've invited all my siblings and then Anthony has a group of guys that he meets with weekly and they do like a little like Dungeons and Dragons role play, stuff like that. He's become really good friends with them. So I got all their numbers secretly and I messaged them all. And then I also messaged Anthony's friend from high school who doesn't live in the area, but he might come too. So it's all coming together. As soon as I hear who can come and who can't, I'll make reservations for dinner. And then I don't know if I want to like buy anything. I don't know. That just Maybe I just don't and maybe kind of keep it more classy of just like dinner and drinks. So like an adult party I don't know so I'm really excited for it I think it'll be really fun 
I was thinking to myself, the worst part about this is it's a surprise for Anthony. And I feel like I tell Anthony like everything or at least the exciting things. And this is like super exciting. And so I want to tell him like every step of the way what I'm doing. And I can't because then it would ruin the surprise. So yeah, but it'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm like patting myself on the back. Like I think it'll be a good thing for him. I don't know if he likes surprise parties or not. I can't ask him because then it would let him know. So I'm just doing it. I mean, he's going to have a night with like all of his friends. So I don't feel like that would be bad. I feel like he would like that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll keep you updated as I plan as the month goes on. But yeah, I'm super excited. Um, he's so awesome and he deserves to be celebrated. So yeah, I'm doing that for him. So it'll be fun. So it sounds like a lot of people can make it, which is good. I mean, it's a month in advance and on a Friday. So I figured we would be in the clear, but you just never know. So as long as a couple people come, I'll be happy. If it was just me and him and then nobody showed up, that would be sad. <laughs> so, um, but I've already heard a couple people can make it. So I'm so excited. Um, but that's kind of our day. The park that we're at actually has a really huge pond right next to it. I've probably shown you guys this before. And so the kids love to come to the pond and they like to throw sticks and rocks and whatever into the pond. I think that's pretty fun. Gray's singing on the wall over there. He's hidden by a tree. There he is. So we're just hanging out here till, oh bless you, till dinner. And then we'll head back and play in the basement and I think it's bath night, so we'll do that too.